come back after him. He's... Hello? Dude! Hey. No way, man. No way. He's back. Yeah, you can actually you record to... now. Yeah. The end of days. All right. So, Johnny Cash, 1968. He recorded Live at Folsom Prison, which is one of the most uh, influential country albums of all time and one of the most famous live albums of all time. And during the recording, uh, uh, there's a lot of, like, uh, he doesn't break character, but he stops singing to, like, uh, ad lib and stuff and talk to the prisoners like directly so okay. at one point uh he mentions that the show uh is being recorded for an album which isn't like made really clear to the prisoners then he says uh like he explains the censorship rules so you can't say hell which is uncensored or blank if, if you oh, see right here said, it's blank oh. and then uh yeah uh we are unable uh if you just listen to the album you're unable to tell what that word is. Oh, what is that oh. second guy? What is he saying? Second guy? Okay, so uh, this is my homie. He says, uh, he said a bad word, but which one? Which is the main goal uh, yeah, at the it's end the, of the it's detective, it's, it's detective starving police. Detective. Oh, well, you know him? <laughs> I, I, I've met him on a few occasions when I had some deep mystery that I had solved. <laughs> one, of, one of the first assumptions that you may assume, uh, did Johnny Cash say the N-word? No, he wouldn't. <laughs> okay, so like, all right, this is you over here. All right, he's he's a country singer. He probably said the N word. You know, he he grew up like, or uh, you know, his, his can, career can, started yeah. in the nineteen fifties. He was a southern boy. Uh, what what was uh important to note for when he said uh the censored uh bad word was that like people people cheered after. So if he hypothetically said the N word, that would mean this whole crowd of prisoners that he was performing to cheer. So, so uh, it would have been a positive curse word. It would, uh, maybe not. Like, uh, okay, what, yeah, maybe not. Maybe what not, I'm trying yeah. to get at here is that you know, it's it's by the pictures, it's clear that the majority of, of the audience is in fact white. So it is possible that you know these are prisoners. These are bad people. They they could just be racist, and they could just be for you know him saying the N word, which is a little embarrassing. Because yeah. if if we look at uh. The lyrics of Cocaine Blues right here in the, like, bottom right corner thing. Um, after he says the line, shot that, you know, bad B word down, uh, yeah. all, all of the audience cheers, you know. But wow. uh, th this wow. is all this is all a male audience, so they could all potentially be, like, misogynist. All right, mm -hmm. if we go here. Um, if we look at this first example, we see that Johnny Cash's first white was actually black. So, uh... And he did have, he, while, while he divorced her, and uh, he married a new wife, I think, around the time what? of this album, uh, he he had four kids with her. Oh, that, okay, good, know. good. Yeah, Because, yeah, like, yeah. She, he could have became racist after because he got a divorce, but because he yeah, had kids. Yeah, no. Yeah. But, you know, it's, it's tied uh, with flesh and blood, so he, he can legally not be racist because mm -hmm. uh, of, the, of the children that was bred with his first wife. That is, and, that is correct. It is. I, yeah. And if we see here, we got this quote about the Ku Klux Klan, actually, uh, from Johnny. We don't know when uh, the quote was taken, but you know, it, it's definitely Johnny Cash. Uh, Demetrius, did Johnny Cash enjoy the the company of Asians? Uh, actually, if we see right here in this slide, he's shaking the hand of an Asian American man. Look at this, man. Look at that. He's Asian. Yeah, that's I crazy. He's Asian or not? It's kind of racist. He's, he's Asian. 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 You can't. Well, you could be Mexican. Charles, 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 please don't bring race into this. Charles, do not enter. Yeah, know be like. Who hates you? And it's good to be hated by the right people. The kind is despicable, filthy, dirty, and unkind. It's a shame sometimes that we have all these freedoms because freedom allows them to exist. I love to see them all thrown in prison. And, uh. Just like I hear. Uh, country music Johnny Icon, uh, or Johnny Cash, sorry frequently used his medium to call out racism and inequality for African Americans and Native Americans. Um, I mean, if I was Johnny Cash, I would do the same, because that's a good thing to do. Pro yeah. Maybe in yeah. the eyes of potential I mean, do you prisoners. disagree, Demetrius? I'm saying, I'm saying Johnny Cash agrees with your statement, because got it, got it. shining example, 1964, which is one year uh, I'm pretty sure after segregation ended, I could be wrong about that. Uh, Cash made the then-controversial career move to release Bitter Tears, Ballads of the American Indian, 
an entire album dedicated to advocating for the rights of Native Americans. It included the now famous single, Ballad of Ira Hayes, originally recorded by folk uh, singer Peter Lafarge, which chronicled the story of the Pima Indian who helped raise the flag uh, on Iwo Jima during World War II. So, oh. all of these like an- anti-racist statements leads me to believe that Johnny Cash likely did not say the N-word during uh, his time at Folsom Prison. Uh, you know what? You you have convinced me. I do think the same. You actually? Really? A little bit, yeah. Okay. Did you, all right. Now, second second thing you might be wondering. Did, did, did Johnny Cash say D A M N? And oh. like, first of all, we got we got a side note. Uh, here's NPC Darnell. Hello, NPC Darnell. Dude, most of the songs on this album have very dark themes. Says NPC Darnell. All right, and I got uh this list of ranked bad words on a website, and this is out of forty. So like, uh, it's ranked on like, uh, like the oomph and like how common uh the swear words are actually used. Mm-hmm. So number thirty nine is actually D A M N, uh, and the website says this this isn't even a swear word, and I'm annoyed that I've included it on the list. To be honest, it's the most fire album of twenty seventeen thanks to Kendrick Lamar, and I refuse to regard it as anything else. It's also something a beaver builds aside from lasting and meaningful friendships. You know, I I have to agree. The D A M N it doesn't have a lot of oomph to it. Very little like the album. Like you know what? I have to be honest. I do. List of uncensored bad words. There's the B word and uh, hell. And both of these bad words uh, are considered to have more power uh, than the word D-A-M-N, according to uh, this list, you see? Very credible website. Yeah, but th- they're, they're left uncensored on the album. So, and why would uh, D-A-M-N be uh, censored while these more powerful words are left uncensored? I know. It's, yeah. So I think, yeah. Yeah. All right. So you might be thinking, like, he probably just said, like, a like a very strong bad word. And that's the reason that they censored it. So it's reasonable to assume, uh, like, that Johnny Cash said the worst bad word that isn't a racial slur. All right. So if, if we use the same list that I was talking about uh, last slide, uh, yeah, number four and number three both tie into the F word. So if we see mm-hmm. over here. Uh, the average adult uses this word uh, upwards of 200 times a day, 400 of the working in an office environment or with children. And uh, it's also important to note that Johnny Cash did have an extreme addiction to drugs in his early career. And I think that potential, like, uh, obtained raunchiness could, like, affect, uh, you know, how he was feeling that day. Like, made him, made him like, it pushed him to the edge and he said the F word all of a sudden. Like, it might, might, might have been uncalled for, even for the because, prisoners. Maybe because he was in a prison, it was, like, very intense there, having a good time. He might have said that very, very raunchy word. Very raunchy word, actually. Mm-hmm. His, the setting and just the years of trauma probably just held back in his mind. I, he, I he didn't just let even it all out. That. Years of trauma, yeah. Yeah, just let it all go, man. He just, he just said the F word. That, that's oh, what could have happened. But you know what? The emotion flow. That didn't happen. Johnny Cash did what? not say the F word. What? During, during, dude, during 1968, I'm telling you, when the, when the Ad in prison was reported, Johnny was really attempting to keep clean and make a comeback in his career, so he probably didn't choose to say the worst and most dis- despicable word. Um, and adding on to that, you know, he, he was also trying to keep clean from drugs. To that try makes to sense. Oh, my God. Yeah, so he'd have no raunchiness, so he'd have absolutely, like, no desire to say the F word. All right, so what did he actually say, right? I don't Johnny know. What, what did he say? He, he said S H I. Oh my god. I. No, don't finish it. No, 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 dude. It's it's, it's, it's said uh, it. all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna admit it. It's it's a word stronger than hell and the B word. So that'll make sense for it to be censored. But it's not strong enough to be a racial slur or the F word. Because oh he's such god. a nice guy, he would not say either of those things, but he would likely, you know. My, my, How did my, I never my, think of this? Actually, yeah, actually. It's, all right, my evidence for this. On Rolling Stone's website, they give the uncensored transcript of what was actually said in the album, and he says the word S-H-I-T. <gasps> oh, my pure, God. Pure evidence. You just said the God word. All right. Hurrah! All right, I'd like to, I'd like to thank you all for, uh, you know, helping me come to the conclusion that Johnny, Johnny Cash did indeed say 
S H I T. That was that was the word that was censored uh, during 1968 1968's at Folsom Prison. And and I'd like to say, you know, rest rest in peace, Johnny Cash. I was thinking nah, he was a, true, he's a true true anti racist. He really fought for racial equality. You know, he he did things. You know that people born in his in his time, you know, maybe didn't even have the guts to do. You know, if if I owned a farm and I listened to Johnny Cash, I'd hope he'd been he'd be watching over my farm because he seems like farm. the type of person that's just very on a good. farm. On a farm. Good on a farm. On a farm. Uh, on. It's uh, fun. Uh, Y like, like, it's fun. Okay. Do you think? Okay, I know you don't do slide, right? Yes. You are finished. Okay. If if Johnny Cash, if Johnny Cash got a divorce and oh he did get a divorce, because okay I was reading an article while you were doing your presentation, he was he got divorced because he cheated on his wife, right? Yeah. Okay. No, you, yeah. No, just just explain it. Okay, he cheated on his on his African American wife with his new wife, which he had until the date of his death. So right. that sort of pushed him, because the the first wife did uh, wanted the divorce. So that could have pushed him off the edge, and like, dude, this this dang this dang African American slur word 